got an iPad in my hand. So for example, cute little Porsche key, tablet. Let me know what you think. What is this, what is this gonna tell me? Slide up to display, secured, closed, connected. Oh, this is cool. This is real cool. What happens if I press this button? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. This is what we call MSO, machine smarter than operator. Okay, boomer. <laughs> I don't even know if it's unlocked right now. We got the BMW M850i on this. So it's a twin turbocharged V8, over 520 horsepower on this. Not the M8 version. This car has been out for about a year now and we've already done HRE wheels as you can see. You got the 21s, P101, and it's got a special billet aluminum cap. Now, not a lot of people know that this is an option from HRE. It's instead of the plastic cap that comes with the wheels as standard, it's a billet aluminum one. Thank you, Ben. A lot of people will paint the cross in the logo and it adds a little bit of pop. I think I might try and convince my customer to do that with his blue M brakes. That would be really unique. But again, the brushed dark clear finish that everybody loves, very dynamic. I've said it over and over. This is one of my favorite finishes from HRE. So what this is in for today is, as you can see, it's looking a little bit high. So we're gonna do AC Schnitzer lowering springs, but that's not the only thing we're doing from AC Schnitzer. We're gonna be doing a bunch of carbon. So front diffuser, rear diffuser, little deck lid spoiler, also an AC Schnitzer exhaust, which we're gonna cut to the scene now. We're gonna do a before and after, so stay tuned. So if I had to pick any Porsche, I think this would be the one that I would pick personally. I don't like the wing. I mean, too many people try to, to race you and things like that. So the GT3 or the GT3 RS or the GT2 RS even, not my cup of tea. This to me is perfect. Classic 911 lines, lizard green, not a color that you see very often. And then we set it off with the HRE Vintage Series 501s. I don't know what it is. I was born in 89, but I love the old school things. I love cars from the 80s, uh, the styles from the 80s. So this to me is perfect. This is exactly what I would do if I had a 911. This has a double bronze setup. So bronze on the outer lip, bronze on the center face goes perfectly with the center lock, the yellow cap calipers that are hiding behind it. And then a cool little touch as well is the gold assembly bolts that hold the center face to the entire barrel of the wheel. And that kind of matches the brake calipers as well. So I love this thing, no wing. Green is my favorite color. Of course, stick shift. I, I think this is the perfect 911. Let, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Tell me what you think is the best 911 at all, of all time and why as well. So, oh, and I forgot to mention, if Franco could come back here, it's got the Acropovic titanium exhaust. Slip on, you reduce a bunch of weight, you increase the sound on this thing. Out of all the things that the 911 is known for, one of the drawbacks is the sound from the factory. So this Acropovic takes care of that. Again, I can't say enough good things about this GT3 Touring. We knocked it out of the park on this one.
So Franco let me know that the BMW 8 Series is done. This is my first time looking at it. Oof, very nice, very nice. So, oh man, this is the perfect height with the AC Schnitzer springs. And just pull it around to the back. What I really want to see is the carbon. Wow. So, got the full AC Schnitzer carbon rear diffuser, AC Schnitzer performance exhaust tips, with carbon tips, I should say. You got the whole axle back. Very, very nice. I mean, you could tell, you get a zoom up here on the quality of it. Made in Germany, AC Schnitzer does a lot, spends a lot of money, spends a lot of time on research and development for their products. So it's nothing cheaply made, everything fits perfectly. You don't have to do any crazy modifications to the car. It's basically, you pull off the factory part, you put this on and, uh, and you look good. So there's also a third brake light kit that goes on here. This customer of mine didn't want to do that. He wanted to keep it clean. He wanted the most amount of carbon. Um, that's also an, a worth look as well for that. And um, I'm excited to hear the exhaust. So let's uh, turn it on. I wanted to rev it one more time for good measure. As you guys can hear on the before and after video, it's completely night and day. Shout out to AC Schnitzer for doing an amazing axle back exhaust. I was actually very shocked at the sound of it just for being an axle back. So um, I would be interested in seeing what this car would sound like with full down pipes and everything and all that tune. So maybe stage three, we'll get to do that. But again, stage one, we had the wheels, HRE P101s. Stage two, we had the AC Schnitzer exhaust with the carbon rear end, the diffuser, the little deck lid spoiler as well. Again, shout out to AC, AC Schnitzer for the products. Absolutely amazing, made in Germany. Um, hopefully we'll be doing a lot more stuff with them on BMWs. So I appreciate the watch guys. Leave a comment, leave a like, follow us. We'd love to uh, hear what you guys want to see more of and we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.